New data from a nonprofit research group and Arizona's top universities suggest that nearly all of the state's coronavirus cases go back to one strain of the virus. Scientists believe that that strain started spreading throughout Arizona from the very beginning. And now doctors are trying to create a family tree of sorts to understand where the virus has been and what it may become next. Team 12's Michael Doudna has the details. Without doing the genomic analysis, we're, we're a little bit flying blind. As thousands of Arizonans have died from the virus, doctors like David Ingothaler wanted a clearer picture of what we're fighting. So they started looking at COVID-19's hereditary information. We can generate the family tree, kind of the ancestry.com look at this and understand which strains are related to which ones. What they found were 11 separate strains of the virus. And while most fizzled and didn't really spread, there was one family tree that has spread and spread all with one specific hereditary mutation. Kind of referring to this mutation as potentially the mutation that made the pandemic. Ingothaler says the mutation is on the little spikes of the virus, which allows it to be more contagious. It's causing the vast majority of, of disease and, and death. But by creating this family tree, there's another benefit. And that's that doctors can help predict when the next mutation may occur. We're, what we're able to do is kind of put a molecular clock on this virus. What Dr. Engelthaler and others found is that COVID-19 mutates about every two weeks, which is slower than expected. In this particular case, once every couple of weeks means we can monitor and watch every one of these mutations. And that's collectively what we're doing. We're and doctors and scientists hope with a better understanding of this enemy, it may be able to help out other things like potentially making a vaccine or helping make policy decisions moving forward. We're in Phoenix, Michael Doudna, 12 News. Michael, thank